video doesn't. I want to just take a second to give a special shout out to the young lady who contacted my office and provided the second video. The video that shows these two young girls after they were dismissed with Rosita did after that. And that video is important for two reasons. Number one, it goes to show that as this family, as the Brown family has maintained this whole time, that Rosita immediately interacted with another child of a different race. Immediately. We now have video evidence of that. The second video is also important and material because it also shows that the statement that Sesame Place released initially has serious issues with it. We don't see another individual in that video holding a child in which Rosita would have been responding to. So again, we have to ask ourselves in the consciousness of this country, what are we going to accept? It is unfortunate that we live in a day where black people have to rely on video to get justice. It's also unfortunate that even when you do have video, as Attorney Crump well knows, you still might not get justice That's in this correct. country. That's correct, now, to be clear, the issue here is not so much the racist incident that America witnessed past Saturday, but it's how the company responded to it. You know, it's how it's the response. It doesn't take three statements over five days to recognize racism. Willful blindness has always been an issue when it comes to social justice. You can blame it on a costume. You can blame it on some fictitious individual holding a child. You can blame it on whatever you want, but America sees exactly what it is. Let me be clear. Videos on going viral on social media is not justice. It brings awareness, but it does not bring accountability. So I charge you today. We charge the community, activists, organizations, and people across this country who truly believe in liberty and justice for us all, what are you prepared to do about it? What are you prepared to do about it? Are you gonna just sit still and sit back and write comments on social media? Or are you ready finally to engage in these issues? I said it before and I'll say it again. We are tired of talking. We, I said this a few days ago. If you don't respect the dollars that keep you in business, we will respect the right to not continue to give them to you. We don't respect brands that do not respect us. We formally announced today a no tolerance policy on racism in America. This is a warning to all companies, corporations, and businesses that if you tolerate racism, we will not tolerate you. With that, I bring up Attorney Big Trump. Thank you so much, Attorney Lamar. And I wanted to tell you just what a privilege it is to stand with Attorney Lamar, one of the best young lawyers in America working today. We've worked on a lot of uh, tragic campaigns involving video, and this is certainly one of them. Also present with us, is Attorney O'Neill and Dr. Tiffany Crutcher, uh, who's here at the Rock Nation Social Justice Summit. Uh, and she's with Sisters of the Movement. Her brother, tragic killing, was captured on video as well. So video is a critical part of this discussion today. It is appropriate that we're here at the Social Justice Summit, Tanya Wiley, because we are here to discuss not only issues, but solutions. That's correct. And that is the critical thing here for SeaWorld. Yeah. What is the solution? SeaWorld being the parent company of Sesame Place. And so when I look at Miss Brown and I, I look at these beautiful angels, the eye I think back to what Maya Angelou said, she said that people will often forget what you say, people will often forget what you do, but people will never 
forget how you made them feel. That's correct. That's correct. And for Ms. Brown's daughter and niece, you saw the video. You look in their eyes when Roselle just ignores them as if they are invisible, as if they are insignificant, not worthy of consideration and attention. And it's such a difficult thing for Ms. Brown and her family to have to explain to her six-year-old daughter and six-year-old niece about racism. It's not fair. It is not right, SeaWorld. It is not right, Sesame Place. And you can best believe Ms. Brown, Attorney Lamar, will always remember how they made her feel on that day when they ignored her beautiful black princesses. And so that character may have ignored them, but we will never ignore our black That's children. Right. That's right. They have every right to be given the full consideration and respect of any other child, whether white, brown, red, or black. And so we'll say this because Ms. Brown is going to greet you then, attorney. Angelo is going to greet you, and we're trying to take a few of your questions about Attorney Lamar and I continued engagement with counsel for SeaWorld to see if they're going to do the right thing. Because in a crisis situation, as John Kennedy says, it can present danger or it can present opportunity. Will SeaWorld take advantage of the moment to make it a teachable moment? Right. Not just with their words, but with their actions. That's right. That's right. Because that's what the black community is demanding, SeaWorld. Action for Nyla and Skyla and all the other unknown little black children of the people who are sending videos. Uh, Attorney Lamar said he's received dozens of videos about other black children being ignored by the characters. And there seems to be, especially when you look at the latest video that has been released by Tanya Wiley and Attorney Lamar, that first excuse does not add up. It just doesn't add up when we look at your words and then we look at the video. I know in a lot of these marches, my son, we say, you don't need to say no more, just show the video. Right. Well, we say that for Nyla and Skyler as well. Right. The ball is in your corner, SeaWorld. Our community is going to stand firm for our children. That's correct. The question is, are you standing with us or are you going to stand against us? Uh -huh. Let's make this a teachable moment, not just for Skyler and Nyla. Let's make this a teachable moment, Sesame Street, for American society. Now more than ever, we need it. And at this time, the average is Ms. Brown, and we will step out of the way and let you speak for your start and your lead.
stuff that does continuously, right? It ignores black pain and it ignores black trauma. But when we talk about America, we have to talk about the institutions of America. Because we're just saying America, America is a big country, but there are institutions, there are corporations that make up America and that share and nurture the culture and environment of America. And SeaWorld is one of those organizations. They nurture the culture of racism in America. They have an opportunity to respond and they fail to respond. Oftentimes when we're addressing these issues around the country, we're seeing adults, we're seeing teenagers who are murdered at the hands of the police. And as a result of that form of racism not being responded to, we now have to deal with the racism that our children, our most valuable resource, our youngest resource faces. It's as a result of negligence of America in many facets, corporate negligence, political negligence, but today we stand to say that negligence can no longer continue. Amen. It can no longer continue. When this video first went viral, SeaWorld immediately issued a response. And their response was that, what you think you see, you're not seeing. <laughs> they say your eyes are lying to you. Your eyes are lying to you. We had to watch the video a hundred more times. Right. And they said, your eyes are still lying to you. Right. And that's the issue that black folks in America face. We are told that even when we see something, it's not there. It's, not there. it's an illusion. You have some glasses on that the rest of the world doesn't have. And the danger of that is, it takes the most prominent attorney in the country to step forward, to say, hold on, we have to look at this again. The most prominent attorney, not just any, the most prominent attorney in the country has to step forward and say, pay attention to this issue because no one will pay attention to it. And then you know what happened without anybody asking? Dozens of videos started to surface. Right. Exactly. Not another video, not two videos, dozens of videos. Our inboxes were inundated by videos of folks saying, this happened to me. I got calls from people saying, this happened to me too. I stopped going to SeaWorld because this happened to me too. And we know that families told SeaWorld when they were there, hey, something happened. Let me show you this video. And we know SeaWorld was unresponsive then. So we know we have a history. We often say a pattern and practice of unresponsiveness from SeaWorld. What SeaWorld did after dozens of videos surfaced, they said, hold on, wait, maybe, maybe what you're seeing is right. Maybe there's some truth to what you saw. And they issued another statement. Another. And they said, you know what? We're going to take a look into this. We take these matters serious. Mm -hmm. But I want to say to SeaWorld, issuing a statement is not taking these matters serious. Yeah. Yeah. The executives of SeaWorld must come forward. Yeah. Yeah. They must release the names of the individuals who are behind the costumes. Mm -hmm. Let us know how they're going to hold them accountable. Mm -hmm. And let us know their plan for moving forward so that this doesn't happen again. Not only must SeaWorld address this family, there are dozens of families, potentially hundreds of individuals who've experienced racism at the hands of SeaWorld, at Sesame Place. And SeaWorld doesn't just own Sesame Place. There are at least 12 other entertainment parks they own. So we wonder how long has this continued? How many people have been impacted? The last thing I want to say is, today when I saw these two little girls, it made me think about Ruby Bridges. Mm. 
Take it back. So it made me think about Ruby Bridges. Take it back. A black girl that had to integrate school in the South, in America. And I every time I saw the Ruby Bridges story, I used to think about what kind of impact does this have on her? What kind of impact does this have on our children? What do our children have to take through the rest of their life, this kind of trauma, this kind of baggage, because America refuses to do the right thing, not for adults, but for children. And what we're saying as a community today is it's unacceptable and we won't have it. And we will do whatever we have to do from today and this day forward to hold America and SeaWorld accountable until freedom. We stand with Attorney Crump, Attorney Lamar, and the family with which y'all for the long haul. Thank y'all. Now we'll take a couple questions up there. Yeah, first, first and foremost, first and foremost, you talk about your conversations with SeaWorld. Uh, my understanding that they have no black leadership uh, among their senior ranks. Uh, and so, uh, when do you want to have that meeting? Have they agreed to a meeting? Uh, and who will that meeting be with? Attorney Lamar and I have been in talks. Attorney B. Ivy Lamar and I have been in talks with SeaWorld executives, and we are saying this is an opportunity for them to not only do right by Skyla and Nyla, but Roland Martin, it's also an opportunity for them to become a better company. And so hopefully they will look at this moment, this painful moment, and try to turn it into something powerful, not only for the black community, but for their company. And they need to look and see if there's diversity, equity at the highest levels of the company so they can be respectful of all the children that visit their parks. It was profound with Attorney Angelo just said about Ruby Bridges because we have hundreds of Ruby Bridges right. coming through SeaWorld. We have right. other cases where they brought in like Airbnb, Uber, other companies where they brought in someone to do a civil rights audit of the company top to bottom. Is that one of the things that you want to happen with SeaWorld? I'll say this and then I'll let Attorney Lamar respond. I know him, Tanya, and I are working with Until Freedom and they are a young, powerful civil rights organization that we want to have at the table to talk about how we prevent this from ever happening again, how we prevent Robin or any other black parent out there having to tell a six-year-old right. that, baby, you did nothing wrong. Right. That person was sick, That's right. and racism is a sickness. That's, right. That's what we're trying to prevent. Thank you, Roland. Any against Sesame Place, excuse me, and we will be issuing an advisory against SeaWorld. That speaks specifically to some of our demands and what we'd like to see from them, so be on the lookout for that as well. Last question. If, if not, Attorney Lamar uh, and Tanya Wiley will be giving updates. Uh, we are engaged with counsel. Uh, they have diverse counsel who is trying to hopefully tell them about how important this matter is. Because sometimes they don't think things that affect our children are important. That's right. That's right. And so they need to have good counsel tell them, even though it, you would think that this is elementary, that we love our children just like you love your children. That's right. right. And when your children have to face something that is unacceptable and inexcusable, then we should think that our children will want the same response that you would do for your own children. And so SeaWorld 
I want to believe your executives will respect what happened to these children by what your employer did. There's this concept in the law, you can't get the benefit without having the liability. Well, you get the benefit of Ms. Brown and others paying hundreds of dollars. And like Attorney Lamar said, if you don't respect our black children, do not expect our black dollars. That's right. Attorney Lamar, I do have what you said, but you've got other videos. How many other parents have reached out to you since this story became public? I would say at this point, we received about 150 families reach out um, that have been patrons of Sesame Place, whether in recent weeks, recent months, or even years. We've also received copies of emails of this same complaint being made to Sesame Place about their character's conduct. So again, they have been put on notice well before last Saturday. That's correct. So again, that is one of the, um, the reasons why we are taking it seriously, and it doesn't go away with an apology or three apologies that's, right. that's issued in five days. So again, we want action at this point. And we, we will say in conclusion, this is an opportunity for SeaWorld and Sesame Place to finish how this story ends. It is in their corner to decide will this be a win for this family and the community and a win for their corporation. We should try to hold hands together and navigate this landmine or we will have to take a stand and there's no question where we stand and B. Ivory Lamar and I have communicated this to them. We stand for our children. Unapologetic. Thank you all. like when you get to explain to them what just happened. It's a I conversation sh black parents mm -hmm. don't want to have. Mm -hmm. uh, with the children? Yeah. Um, you just explain to them that, you know, you didn't do anything wrong because, you know, they want to They want to know what did they do. You did nothing wrong. You can continue to be the beautiful, innocent children that you mm -hmm. are. There are bad people in this world, but we will not be like those people. And I'm going to get answers for my children. Right. How, do you, how do you feel with so many folks, celebrities, just regular ordinary people mm -hmm. who've been retweeting, who've been commenting, been, been, been standing with you as a result of what happened? Um, I'm very grateful for it. I appreciate it. Um, the kids definitely deserve to see the, the love and support after everything that has happened, so I'm grateful for it. And because of that conversation, now other parents who felt the same way I felt that day are able to tell their story. Mike, I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, Roland Martin. Thank, Thank you. All right, so for everybody who's, uh, who's actually been watching, uh, Rock Nation is holding their first social justice 
uh, convention. That's actually why we are here. We're here to cover this. And then I got a text message uh, from Ben Crump this morning said say that they were actually uh, holding uh, this news conference out here. And so, uh, thank goodness I, I had my gear with me. And so, folks, uh, uh, you know, this is why what we do. We do the Black Star Network. You never know when news is going to pop up. Uh, it's going to happen. Uh, and so, uh, that's that's why we're here. And so, we're going to keep keep certainly uh, covering this story. And so we appreciate all of you uh, who are watching us. Uh, and again, uh, you know, thanks a bunch. Uh, and, and again, this is why I, I, I implore all of you who watch, I implore you to support us in what we do. Uh, because again, you've had some local media here. I don't think any other national media was here. Uh, I don't think any other black-owned media was here uh, covering this. And so uh, we're going to be able to have this and have this, of course, on the show. So uh, that's why I'm always asking y'all to support us in what we do. Uh, you know, uh, cash, uh, checks, and money orders to P.O. Box 57196, Washington, D.C., 20037 0196. You can support us on Cash App, Dollar Sign, RM Unfiltered, PayPal is R Martin Unfiltered, Venmo is RM Unfiltered, and Zale is rolling at rollingsmartin.com. Uh, so I'm now headed back inside uh, to cover uh, the Social Justice Conference. Uh, and then uh, uh, my man Keenan White, he'll restream this uh, news conference later folks uh, who actually missed it. So thanks a bunch. Uh, and until then, holla.